You're live. Hello, everybody. Okay, what do we see? We see that. Okay. Halfway through him. What are the dots on there? Those are just drips of marker. The marker is drips? Apparently, yeah. I'm going to raise this up a little bit for today. Huh. Well, you know why? It's because the paper's so big. That's what it is. We decided to paint on large paper. And that's the problem. All right. The paper is very large. It does not. Chicken wing bird is the first one here and says hi. And Ronte says hi. Hello, Ronte everybody. Amiri says good morning. John Beer says hi. Green Otterbox says hello. I'm trying Sweet to make sure that you guys hey. can see everything. And we have a Bethany Primrose. Hello. Hello. Good morning from California. That's Gail. Recluse Dreamer says hello. Hello, Gail. Hello, Recluse Dreamer. Hello. How's everybody doing? Hi. <coughs> Old, um, I don't even know how to pronounce that. O D, I don't know. I can't think of that one. That's too much for me. That's too much. All right. I think that's the best we're going to do for now. Sounds good. Oh, thinking too much turn 19 today. Aww. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Just a year behind the boys. No. Now they're quoting the movie. Um, hey, Steph Nerd says morning. And Dana Mercury says morning. Hey, Dana Mercury. Hey, Steph Nerd. Hi, friends. How are we? Uh, your pal Huckleberry turned 13 this morning. Ooh, happy birthday. <laughs> How's your morning going? Uh, no, that was to you. How's your morning going? They want to know. Oh, what you oh. Asked. Morning is going good so far. Thank you. Oh, do stuff girl is here. Hi. Sorry. Um, they just... want to know how are you both? We are doing good. I'm trying to get this thing to come on. Uh, someone is rearranging cameras. I'm trying to get the recording camera mm -hmm. to. Be in the right spot because I raised this thing up so high. Brandy B says, Good morning. <coughs> I haven't seen you in a while. Um, chicken wing. I was the first one here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So, do you like camping? No, no, that not no. Um, so one of the things that here's picture of said uh, tangerine. Which, by the way, has been airbrushed so incredibly much, it's ridiculous. Okay. Honey? What? They haven't done airbrushing in 30 years. Okay. It's been photoshopped then. Whatever it is. Okay. Anyways. He's been modified. Go ahead now. Sorry. As you can see, he has light blue shirt. Well, according to Ohuhu, I have a choice of like 30 different colors of light blue. I think it's a bit overkill. I think 320 might be a little too much. I think 120 is a good number. But in the spirit of Ohuhu-ness, let's is that even color Ohuhu-ness. What do you spend time doing outdoors other than drawing? I don't really go outdoors as much as I'd like to. He doesn't. He always says he wants to go outside, but then he never goes outside. There's really nothing to see out here in Middle Tennessee. Um, hello from Mexico. Hello from Florida. Hello. Wow, hello from Jordan. Hello from Poland. Oh. Applebee says you're going to hit 1.5 million very, very soon. Wow. How crazy is that? Crazy. Hello from Ireland. Carter does stuff says, yo, I'm a huge fan, Mr. Scott. Hello, nice to meet you. Joda says hello from Scotland. Hello. <laughs> Scott prefers to stay in the hot bowl. That's correct. That is 1000% correct. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm an introvert. 
Like I like this color a little better. Dante says, hi from Tonga. Tangerine reminds me of a word in Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Oh. The tangerine they something. They use your artwork instead of a poster. You made it look so much cooler. <laughs> no. Happy Barf says he's my favorite character from Bullet Train. What is your favorite brand of the alcohol markers out of all the ones you tried? Um, I will be honest. They are all the same. Honestly, they're all the same. Um, difference is presentation and price. Uh, these are the same as Copics. They're the same as Crayola. It's the same as Art Beak. Um, they all feel the same to me. They're just um, markers. Uh, what I would say is that I, I, I you know, like oh, who who has been really good about customer service? At least you know they've been very talkative to us. They've been Developing offering to yeah, offering to make changes. That goes a long way. And um, you know, but like I said, for for me, uh, you know, I've been really happy with the the art beak set that they sent us, the hundred and twenty set. Granted, you know, the numbers don't match up and whatever, but I like. Well, it's the same thing with all of them. None of the numbers match. Yeah, they really don't. Yeah. But um, I, I like it. I think it's really good. But, you know, that said, um, you know, markers are not something I I use for anything other than doodling, you know. Um, and, and a lot of that has to do with the, the permanence of them. Uh, alcohol markers just fade. That's just in their nature to fade. And so I, I don't like to do anything serious with them if I know that they're going to just fade away. Uh, and, and again, that's just me. So I don't take it as seriously as some other, you know, people who do this professionally. Bird says, you think you've got nothing to see. I live in Arizona. Oh. <laughs> you have a lot of beautiful desert in Arizona. Good morning. It's finally snowing again in Michigan. Ooh, better you than me. Did you just post a short drawing? Him says Wingman. I did. I started drawing him, and then I was, and then I just stopped because I had to talk about the uh, the pencil, the, you know, the 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 brush cap thing. Uh, Basil says I like how it turns a variety of different recourses in art and still makes masterpieces. Oh well, you're too kind. Thank you. I, from Uganda. Hello. I, I do in like. I live in Arizona too. Ugh. And um, wait, I lost that comment. I do like trying different art materials and I like trying to figure some stuff out. I think it is kind of fun. Good morning from Brazil. Love you. Good morning. Love you too. Hugs from the Hobbit Hole. How do I blend paints? That is a very nebulous question. That depends on what kind of paints they are. Yeah. So, Shreeman, give us a little more detail to your question. Hi from Italy. Hi from Serbia. Hello. No, I've made it to the first live. It's Captain Cat. Hi from North Macedonia. Wow. Hi Hello. From Romania, New Zealand, Sweden. Hello, everybody. She's Doodle says, oh, my God, hi, I'm a big fan. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. All in capital letters. Hi from the Philippines. Good afternoon from Iraq. Oh, good afternoon. Chocolate croissant or plain croissant? Donna likes chocolate. I'll why take plain. Why do we have to choose, please? Can you just ask me why do we have to choose? That's not fair. Because if it was me, it would be like a, a chocolate and then a plain and then a chocolate. And then a plain. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried drawing lemon yet? I have not. I have not. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any more characters from the movie, but I uh, just... Someone said something about it, tangerine or something like that, and it reminded me of the movie, and then it led me down a rabbit hole, and I found this picture, and I was like, that's what I'm drawing. So it it it, it wasn't like, I'm doing this now, so much as just, I was like, ooh, that is a nice picture. Yep, Rangita Markers again. Dang, I just joined in. This is beautiful. Okay, Scott started this. I started this yesterday, yeah. and you'll see I did a video yesterday. But you only um, did the head, so. Yeah. 
and you and, to finish it today. and so I was like, I'll just finish it today. So I just I didn't finish yesterday because of that. What is your favorite place to draw other than the Hobbit Hole? Um, Venice was really nice. Um, these markers are dual tip. Yes. Hello from Greece. Hello from Spain. Hi from Texas. Good morning from California. Ah, what type of paper do you recommend for graphite art? Let's talk about the Ohuhu paper too. Oh yeah. Let's um, talk about answer the graphite art question first, and then let's talk about the Ohuhu paper. Okay, real quick. Logan just tried to call me. Just make sure he's okay. Um, so talk about the Ohuhu paper. Ohuhu paper first. Talk about what paper is good for graphite. For first. graphite, there. See, there's there's paper for everything. Honestly, there's paper for. Um, like for graphite, <clears throat> there's stuff like this. This is stone paper. I mean, it's not stone paper. It's Stonehenge paper, but it's 100% cotton, acid-free, really, really nice. They make paper for every medium. So, um, and the paper makes a really big difference. Like marker paper really looks better on, I mean, markers look really much better on marker paper. So uh, I, I would say, depending on the medium that you're working in, look to the, uh, the paper for that. Um, hi, I'm um, Kiara from Germany. Hi. Art Scott. Thank I you. Stream. Yes, he has tried digital art. There's a couple of um, videos. I need to do more. I really do. What do but... you recommend for beginner drawing? Just a paper and pencil. Oh, David's here. Hey, David. Hi, David. Good morning. Oh, um, Gundam fan says, hi, Scott. I won a school art competition. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks oh, no, I'm sure it was all you, but thank you. Yeah, Congratulations. Great. I am so happy for you. That's fantastic. What kind of competition was it? And, yeah, what, what, did you, and what did you draw? What medium? Yeah, we want to know. Give us the deep. Say that anymore? No, no, no. Old? Yeah, you're oh, old. Okay. Sorry. Um, Donna, I saw red panda videos and it reminded me of you suggesting for people to draw. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so funny story, we went to the zoo yesterday. You'll have to wait to see which animal we um, got to see until Scott um, does the video. Maybe this weekend or Monday. But um, it was really cool. Anyway, so we're we're talking to them about going like every other week now that you know the holidays are over and everything. And the social media guy, who's the guy who's taking us to the zoo, um, Scott says, okay, so this person said that maybe next time we'll get to see the red panda. Donna might get to actually meet I a red turned, panda. I looked at him stone-faced. I said, don't tease me. Don't tease me. I was just like, because seriously, guys, like, could you imagine if I got to meet a red panda? Like this would require, and they there's going to have to be out. extra security because yeah. Donna's going to yeah. try to sneak one out. Well, not only that, but because I would probably scream when I saw them and scare them to death, like, oh, and you really don't want to be doing that with animals around to like, you know, you don't want to scare them to death. Um, that's not really the, you know, the plan, but, um, anyway, so yeah, so all you're going to hear in the video, it, you'll see Scott drawing maybe a little bit, and you'll just see me with the right hand. That's that'll be it. And I, I don't know if you can pet them or touch them or squeeze them. Or I'll bring a backpack. We'll see if we can get one home. But anyway, there you go. I'm going to die. It's like straight up like, oh, my God. So. Um, so I'm building up we, the, the levels. Okay, where can we suggest... Our ideas for drawings that you can make. Oh, just put them in the comments. Oh, just comments. I, 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 I try here, to. But yeah. The comments when this video goes live. Or any video, yes. really. Just don't spam it, but Comment yeah. On the videos. Yeah, please don't spam it. I, oh, I, I do try to read all of the comments. I really do. That's so I'm cool. trying to build up the levels a little bit more. Get, you know, get it a little so there's some light and some dark. And. Uh, <clears throat> do you think watercolor paper can work as well as marker paper? For what? Because yeah. I, I mean, I, I've Amanda used, for what? I've used watercolor paper for markers, and it's okay. But really, marker paper is best for markers. Um, I, I do like using um, Bristol paper too. 
but I'm really, I'll say this. I'm really happy with the, um, um, a who marker paper. This is really nice stuff. Yeah. Um, plus those come with that plastic sheet to put yeah. in between. Um, so that gives you that extra barrier for when you're, you know, to make sure you don't go through the next page. But I will tell you this, he has been, um, Every time he pulls out another Ohuhu pad, he's been very, very like complimentary with their pads of paper, and they're really not that expensive. Um, and with our code, the code that they gave us, that's the Scott Tenney, you get ten percent off. But he's been pretty impressed with their papers. I and like I, them better than the ones that we paid. You know, like we spent like a hundred dollars on the marker paper, and I did the, the marker paper test. Yeah, I like this this paper better. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Um, how do you determine where to share? Lastly, I'm assuming you're asking on social media. Um, we share everywhere on social media. I mean, we're not really on Actually, I stopped media. doing everywhere. I, I'm just doing TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I don't go on to Snapchat. I just post there. Yeah. I use ballpoint pens for freehand quick doodles. Hey, that works. How do you get the dimensions of any face right? Um, it's it's a matter of uh, let me see if I can find this piece of paper. Shapes. So you got your head is kind of an oval shape, like that. The split down the middle and split down the middle. So this is where your eyes are. This is where your nose is. This is where your mouth is. If it's three quarters view, split down the middle, split down. That would be the middle there. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. So you get that kind of thing. Um, that's how you just figure it out. You, you know, you learn it that way. And then when you're, the rest of it is you're looking at a photograph. So, you know, this guy's head was tilted ever so slightly. So the slant was a little more like this. Like that. So that, that's all it is. And once you learn that, you get used to that. Then you start finding the cheekbones, the jaw. You know, you, you find this is where the brows are. This is where your ears are going to go. It's just practice. I've been doing it for, you know, almost 50 years. That's the only difference that you're seeing is that. And again, I'm using photo reference too. I'm, you know, I'm not, I, can I draw a character out of my head? Yes. But I prefer doing stuff from photos and that's what I'm doing right now. Um, tell them exactly what paper you used for this. This is, can you guys see the whole thing? If I do this, this is a it's really a big piece. Of paper, but they're not gonna be able to see the whole thing. 16 and a half by 11.7 inches. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, it's a really big piece. Yep. And it's got this nice piece of plastic underneath that Every protects. Every one of their notepads has come with that big yeah. piece of plastic. So you can see. It would probably bleed through pretty well, but the paper is very thick. I'm really surprised with how thick it is. Okay, we have about um, a million comments to go through today. Um, how did the cute animals or babies in the house ever survive on it? Oh, they, the boys are so annoyed. Why do you think they left uh, the state to go to college? <laughs> <laughs> um, my comment is, um, you'll never have to wonder if your mother loves you. Um, let's see. I bought the Faber-Castell pencil eraser. So thanks Scott for the product placement. Love your art journey video. Oh, sure. You are the goat. There's a little goat. Oh, energy. thank you. Um, oh. Um, will you do more anime drawings? Uh, I guess it just depends, you know. Um, 
if I do, it's not going to be because I want to. It'll be because, you know, um, you guys want to. <clears throat> yeah, you guys would want me to. Okay. I'm planning on doing a picture for a 4 H competition. Can you please give me an idea of what to draw if I'm not that good? Um, honestly, the way I do things is I find a photograph of something that really, that I love. So it could be a photograph of a place or a person or a thing or whatever it might be. And that's, that inspiration is what gets me going. So why don't you go and look for um, a photograph of something and then that's what you're going to draw. Australia, you've inspired me so much, and I'm still working on the red panda from last time. Oh, <laughs> thank you for being my inspiration to draw more. Oh, my pleasure. The highlights on the face look brilliant. Thank you. Um, hi from India. Hello. I'm just wondering why someone needs a set of pens that big. It is really that is big. A good question. That's a good question. You really don't need that many light blues and that many, you know. Um, Having some is great, but I, I think I think 320 might be overkill. Yeah. Also, I think a marker page this size is a little too big for me. Um, I. You can see all of Scott's um, finished pieces, or a lot of them, whoops, on the website, I saw the art. Please give tips for shadows. I have been trying to get him to make a video on shadows and shading. There are people who teach that stuff so much better. It, it's it's like saying, give me a, um, a tip on uh, walking. Uh, it's something that uh, it I think just is a part of light and shadow is just what you see. Um, I don't know exactly how to explain it. If, if, if a good explanation comes to me, I promise you, I will do that. The same thing with color theory, which a lot of you have asked about. Um, it's just not my forte. Forte. Mm -hmm. yeah, just so you know, they're still asking. I know. I'm sorry. You should be sorry. Uh, Battlebrook says good morning. Good morning. How, doing, friend? Um, how do you determine where to share? That's a good question. Uh, really, it's just a matter of where you can find some traction, where you can get some people who, uh, like similar stuff you do. Try different, uh, places. I, I, I tried Twitter for nearly, oh, you know, 14 something years, however long it's been and could never get more than the, you know, like four or 5,000 followers. Yeah. Um, it, it's, yeah. it's really, uh, Instagram took me a really long time. Mm -hmm. I never got traction on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you just, you, you go where you find. Traction. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was nothing big with him, by the way. Okay. Oh, good, good. Okay. Um, to brush tip marker users, how do you keep the tip from losing its shape? Excellent question, Cherry. Excellent. Me, I, I roll it. So I'm not always on the same same edge, but you guys well, we see me. We roll it. We watch yeah. this. Um, another question on where to put highlights and shadows. The video you made the other day about Disney World and autism hit really close to home, being autistic and not being diagnosed until I was older. That video inspired me. I love your arts. Oh, thank you very much. Um, he, we have... We do not have a logo for the S Saba art, um, and he does sign all of his pieces. So he may not sign them on a live, but he signs them. Like if somebody buys it, he'll sign it before we send it out. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I I um I've been just posting my art without a signature lately, and um and I don't know why. I don't know if some of it is a silent. Uh, protest against all of the companies that steal my artwork and put it on merchandising or what. Um, I haven't figured that out yet. There's something psychological going on with that. Absolutely crazy. That's uh, we have a TikTok account. It's just S Saba Art. How did you grow on YouTube? <sighs> it's luck. 
It's just luck, honestly. It is. Um, well, consistency and luck. Yeah, consistency and and luck. But yeah, it is. It's just luck. Um, I've got several friends who are trying to do the same thing, and they've got millions of followers on TikTok or other social medias, and they're just not having a a, a, a good time finding their voice. Yeah, yeah, on YouTube, it's just luck, and I'm very thankful for it, but. I can't take any credit for it at all. Yes, I work hard, but I, you know, I, I've worked hard on other apps and other platforms and gotten nowhere. To know, yeah, to know. So it's not just, that's why I keep telling everybody um, success is 50% hard work, 50% skill and 50% luck. Which doesn't add up, but that's okay. The world doesn't add up. The world doesn't make sense. Oh, are the open food workers refillable? I don't know. I heard that you can change the caps. You mean the tips? Yeah. Oh, the caps. Sorry. Huh. Well, if you can change the tips, that goes to that other question, do the tips wear out? Um, yeah, I don't know. Good question. Um, we can find out. Um, yeah, interesting. Um, they want you to say, oh, again. Oh, hoo, hoo. Um, um, hi, Scott. I think I've gotten very good with colored pencils, but I'm struggling with watercolor. What recommendation would you have for someone like me? Also, the drawing is turning out amazing. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> with watercolor, uh, you're going to work lights to darks, and you need to have good paper. Um, not the best paper, but you got to have watercolor paper. Watercolor paper is going to make a big difference. Will not apologize for drinking my tea, but here we are. Um, so Kareji Art is here. Hi. Hey Kareji. How are you doing? Long time no read your name. I guess I should say that. Um, another person wants tips on shadows, but you're just not sharing. I don't understand. Yeah, I'm I'm gatekeeping that information. Yeah, gatekeeping. That's it. Um, hi from Indonesia. Hello. Art, but how do I tell my mom I don't want her to keep buying art supplies? She keeps giving me art supplies that I don't need. Well, first of all, I would say this: you are you have a very, yeah. <laughs> very good mom because yeah. so many you you'll hear from I'm sure a lot of people here whose moms and dads do not approve of them making art and Correct. take away their art supplies. So Correct. the fact that you have a mom who is giving you art supplies, a that's a huge thing. Thank your mom. Hug your mom. Um, that said, you got to, um, uh, I, I found, you know, we, we have kids and they're, they're 19. They're old. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, they've grown up, but I found, I think the thing is, is that at a younger age, you haven't learned how to express your feelings correctly. And, and, um, and that's the frustrating thing between parents and kids is the kids have a feeling, but they're not explaining it. And sometimes they explain it in an angry way or they explain it in a desperate way or whatever. But I think maybe writing it out, maybe sending it in a text sometimes is better. But I think uh, you, you have a very valid point. I don't need more art supplies. Thank you very much. You've got to find a way to get that across to your to your mom in a very nice way, so that way she's not hurt, and that she knows how much you appreciate what she's done. So that's really all it is. You just it's just a matter of communication, and I'm sure you can do it. And from the mom's side, even sometimes if you say it like that, and she knows that you mean well, she still might feel like, oh, I can't I can't buy these anymore. And that's that's okay. That's that's because a her problem, not that's a you her problem. Issue, and yeah. I'm speaking from the mom side because sometimes I buy things for my boys and they're like, "Oh, I didn't really need that," or "Thanks yeah. for thinking of me, but I didn't need it." And it's like, and then I feel like, "Oh, they don't." Do me anymore. I, I got for Christmas. I got the twins um, George Foreman grills. He didn't. And need and because uh, they're they're off in college, and I'm like, now you can grill, you know, in the dorm room, and. One of them was like, cool, thanks, I love it. The other one's like, I don't need it. Yeah. And you just got to go, okay, 
you know, the, the fact that they're able to communicate it and tell you, you can't get upset about that kind of stuff. But the best part of this though is the communication. Yeah. That's the key. Like, it doesn't matter, you know, if your kids are, if you're, if you're, you know, it doesn't matter the age, just trying to talk. And it's the parent's responsibility to be the bigger person. You, do you guys seeing this you know? every 50% of the time I pull up the wrong one. And I know the gray line. Why? Thank you all for telling me that, but it would just be so much just easier. Stop whining and complaining. Never going to stop. Yeah, I know. Brandy says, taking a personal day and going to drive to Tucson to do some painting. Oh, lost my dear mom on Wednesday. I oh. some time to sit with my grief. Uh, Brandy, I Our condolences. am so sorry. I'm just so sorry. I do think you're smart to just sit with it because it doesn't it doesn't help when you force it down. Oh god. I my heart, I wish I could give you a hug. I'm so sorry. I'm just sorry about that. Um is there an art style you'd like to try that you haven't? Um well it's more of an art medium, but it's, it'd be sculpting. Hey, Nifty Nutmeg says good morning. Hello. Okay, Marco says, find the line of the shadow where it's darkest and start there to know where to blend to dark and blend to light. Um, let's see. By the way, you guys know how much I hate hands. So. Silly Creeper is still laughing because last time Scott said his least favorite color was olive green and her favorite color was olive green. <laughs> This and that's the, and that best sums best, up our yeah, entire thirty-year marriage. Years. Exactly, right there. Exactly. Yep. Pretty much. That's that's it. Yeah. That's that's about it. Yeah. And then we have a ridiculously difficult time with this here. I don't know what's going on, but why are you texting people? Uh, it's what? <coughs> I thought it was Logan again. It's not. It was Oh my God. And how the heck would you know? Because Logan would know not to message you during our lives. Um, he did several times. Um, let's see. I've been struggling with anxiety for the past week. So this is a welcome distraction. Oh, uh, well, let my anxiety of publicly trying to draw hands <laughs> over, overpower your anxiety. Do not make Jelly Bean feel bad about being anxious. Just because you want to turn this all back on. No, I'm saying focus on oh, my anxiety. Uh, no, this isn't about you. It's about jelly beans. Stop it. Suggest me the cheapest colors. Here's the problem with suggesting for you the cheapest colors. Cheap in our country might not be cheap in your country and vice versa. So that's where we are right now with this. Yeah. So I, I wish we could. We can tell you what the pricing is here in the U.S., I can't tell you if it's going to be cheaper where you are. Um, how long does it take you to make one short video? Scripting, editing, captioning, etc. Um, I think the longest part of it is the editing. No, I have to make the art too. So if I spend 90 minutes on the art and then usually about an hour or two on the editing, well, um, and then you've got to see how many times does he have to change his shirt and how many times does he mess up. Yeah, if I have to get in front of the camera or something like that. Yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of different factors to it, but I would probably say each video maybe takes me about four to five hours. Mm -hmm. All right, I need some purples and blues in here, so. Um, Bullet Train is like my favorite movie. How did you like it? I liked it a lot. I was really surprised by it. Thank you so much. Shark. You too. I hope you have a wonderful day as well. Do you have any tips on how to get rid of streaks in markers? I don't think. No, you do. I embrace them. I find that that is the. Uh, I'm actually adding streaks and lines and stuff to my stuff to give it some more character. I have a bit of art block, but watching your videos is making me want to draw again. Oh, that's great. That, um, that it's making you want to draw, not that you have art block. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Oh, thank you. What's your favorite color? 
Payne's Gray. What app do you use to edit your videos, honey? Oh, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I don't think we'll be streaming on Twitch. I think it's just too video game centric. I don't think that's a good platform for us. At least that's what we've discussed. Any advice on how torsos connects to shoulders for anatomy? I'd really appreciate it. Oh, gosh. Torsos connects to the what? Shoulder. Shoulder. Um, trying to think. And yes, Scott does hate drawing hands. I really do. So let's see. You got, I always do this. This is my torso. So, you know, here's the head. Can you guys see this okay? Yep. Okay, so you got the head, you got your neck. You got the traps, which is part of your back. And so the shoulders kind of come off the traps, the deltoids right here, like that. And they kind of make, you got the, your chest, they kind of come off here. This is like your underarm here. And then it rolls into like this little point here. This is really cartoony and, <laughs> you know, but but the, it, 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 it kind of comes up here. Here's your, you know, your collarbone is right here. And it kind of comes up here. And then this muscle is going to kind of go across your chest a little bit. You know, but, uh, and then this is the space. This little point is that space between your bicep and your tricep. Right there. Dog's barking. Yeah. I just, you know. Um, okay, so talk about what kind of paper to use for gouache and colored pencils. I like. Um, what markers are you using right now? I like uh, hot press watercolor paper for. God, that is way too dark. For um, my. Uh, you like hot press or gouache? For gouache, yes. Yes, but they said for gouache or colored pencils. Be specific. Colored pencils, I, I, I like um, Bristol paper. Strathmore's Bristol paper is what I use. So I'm using this blue to kind of blend these colors a little bit. It seems to be working. It's kind of giving it a more, uh, not dirty, but it doesn't look as cartoony. And if you guys look, I want you to look. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, you should be able to see that, okay? You can see blues in here. That's not red. It's not pink. There's blues in the skin. There's blues, there's greens. That's what that's what I see when I do this stuff. So I just, I tend to add in all of those colors at some point or another. It's kind of a collective. And then I'm gonna leave that for a little bit and come back to it because I wanna finish up with the, uh, Sorry about that. the vest. Someone's a lot of work. Okay. Um, you told everybody you were using Ohuhu markers. You talked about the paper for gouache and watercolor. Yes? Yeah. Um, okay. Give uh, Brie Art a Marvel character to draw. Um, trying to think of one that isn't in the movies. Black Cat. Um, can you draw something amazing as usual, but only using one color? Yeah, I mean, wouldn't that just be pencils? Pretty much. Um, I mean, I just drew Michael Jackson the other day in just pencils. Mm -hmm. Who was your biggest inspiration who inspired you and motivated you to do art? Uh, that would probably be my mom. Um, now they want to know how to draw legs. Nah, I did a video. No, I did do a video. It was mostly just 
pointing you to a better teacher and a better book. Gosh, this has got to get much darker. Much, much darker. Do you use the Strathmore watercolor paper or something else? I like um, Be Creative for my sketchbook. Arches is the best. Um, and then... Uh, the Arches paper even made the Crayola watercolors look amazing. Yeah. So paper really does make a difference. All right, we're going with purple here. All right. So I just needed this blue to get really deep. So. Hi from Israel. Hello. Working on any new movies. Okay, so. I am working on some movies, uh, work for hire, yes. doing some stuff, but not, uh, our, own not our own right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. For those of you who've been around a while, you've been hearing us say, we're working on stuff, we're working on stuff, we're working on stuff. This is how long it takes to get funding for an independent movie project. It takes a lot of time. And before we were all on here with you guys, just add five years to the time frame of however long we've been on here talking about it with you. So, um, it's not an easy road to take to do your own projects and to look for funding. Yeah. Um, so, um, but as soon as, I mean, that being said, as soon as we have some news, you guys will be the first to hear. Cause you guys have, will be like the yeah. 20th to hear, but yes. Well, that's, that's exactly. I mean, we'll, we will publicly tell them. I just, I, I want to just make sure everybody knows, you know, like, well, of course, we've actual our, family members. We've and our moms and stuff. Yeah. Still, like, come on, they know that. I mean, we're not those kind of people who are going to put it on YouTube first and then tell our family. Have you tried the Pentel watercolors? I recently bought them and I need some tips. Pentel watercolors. I have the Pentel watercolor pencils. Um, how much did all these markers cost? Okay, this marker set is $250. Yeah. But there's a 10% discount code. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Have you used oil pastels and acrylics together? I, I can't even get past oil pastels. I, I don't know if acrylics is going to make it any better for me. I don't know if they would work together. What's your favorite combination of art supplies? Uh, ink and watercolors. You have been such an encouragement to me to try new mediums. Your videos made me want to try markers, which ended up being perfect. I have a newborn and can draw and nurse at the same time. Well, that's amazing. Oh, wow. that's new Abby Squirrel. That's so cute. That is so good. You know what? That is great that you are doing something for yourself while you're taking care of your baby. That is so amazing. Um, I love that. I love, love, love that. Okay. I am going to – come on, pencil. Um, Dalton says to fix the streaks, put down the first layer, and then go in the opposite direction with the second layer. Smart. Um, what's your favorite 80s song? Oh, um, how to summarize the entire 80s into one song? I, there's no way. Um... trying to think of which songs I still go back to. A lot of the songs I'm still listening to are from the 90s, like Seal and whatnot. Just before we went live, Scott had a record on the record player that YouTube sent, and it was, uh, it was Toe the Wet Sprocket. Toe the Sprocket, yeah. <laughs> which was so freaking cool. I came down here and I'm like, wait, you're playing a record? Anyway, it was awesome. <coughs> We're getting into vinyl. Which watercolor brand is your favorite? Uh, Windsor and Newton. And why is Windsor and Newton your favorite? Uh, I just like everything about it. Plus, again, the longevity, the light fastness. Um, okay. So the do you think using alcohol markers is a suitable art supply? For, um, it, 
I think anything that makes you happy is a good art supply, honestly. Um, it, it's, it's just a matter of if you're saying, hey, I want to do this as a career and you want your art to last a long time, I would stay away from markers. That's, that's my biggest fear is I, I have friends of mine who work in markers and they gave me, uh, you know, they made art for me in their, in, hey, Santa, they made art for me and it it is faded over the last 10 years. And it's hard to watch some art that you really love slowly disappear. Yeah. That that's really the the thing. I just I just want people to understand because I, I I love markers, but I want you to understand what you're getting yourself into by doing that. Okay, so now I have to tell Santa because Santa's here. Hi, Santa. Guess what? In two weeks, I get to go to the zoo and meet the red panda. Anyway, I just wanted Santa to know because because he's seen that, right? Um, uh, Duck says, don't use markers if you want longevity. Yeah, that, that's really all it is, 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 is just that. Um, but if you like using markers and use markers, just know going in. That's all I want people to know is I just want you guys to know what you're, what you're getting into. First time watching your live. Well, style, hello. Style, cartoony style four. Um, okay, this marker set, let's be clear, there are several marker sets um, from Ohuhu that Scott's tried, and they're in the range of $24 to $36. To, to um, 200 and... Right. This particular set is 320 markers and it's $244 and 99 cents. So um, there you go. Um, a lot of, okay, so I'm, I'm going to let you answer this. Have you drawn anything using slash related to Art Nouveau? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> love Art Nouveau. Influenced by it. So go ahead. No, I do. I love Art Nouveau. The end. I have a lot of stuff. If you go to my website, you'll see stuff. If you look at any of my art, you'll, you'll notice it. Is art school worth it? That depends on how you learn. Um, I was not a good student. I went to a very good art school, but I don't, I, I didn't enjoy homework and studies and stuff like that. Um, I farted around a lot. I, I cut classes. I wasn't, I didn't really wasn't get, a serious student. yeah, I really didn't get all of all I could have out of art school, but there were other students who did amazingly well and they went on to have fantastic careers and they were great students. So it just depends on you. If you are somebody who is good at school, who likes school, then yes, art school would be great for you. Art school is also, I mean, no college nowadays is cheap, but art school is not cheap. So if you yeah. are not, I would say this to any student, if you don't know what you want to do right now, I would either go to a community college for two years and figure out what you want to do. Or if you decide that you want to go to trade school and there's something that you want to learn that really interests you, like elect, uh, being an electrician or, you know, a plumber or, you know, we need, it takes every single person in this world to make the world go around. And one person is not any better than anybody else. So if you're the CEO of a company and your toilet backs up and you don't know how to fix it, guess who you're going to call? You're going to call a plumber. So this entire, if you, if there's something you want to do, just the most important thing I think is to be happy with what you're doing. Please don't be miserable for 50 years of your life working and doing things that you don't want to do. Okay. A couple corrections to what Donna just said. What? First of all, a CEO is going to call their secretary, who's then going to call a plumber. Wow. Second of all. Um, That's personal assistant to you. <laughs> no CEO is going to pick up a phone and call a plumber. Uh, second of all, uh, I have never been asked what art school I went to or what degree I have for that any for any professional job that I've you were ever. Asked one time. No, but that wasn't for a professional art job. That's true. So, you know, I'm saying so just keep that in mind that um, 
nobody's going to look at your degree. They're going to look at your portfolio. You could be, you know, um, you don't, you don't need a degree is what I'm saying to be an artist. What you need is a good portfolio. So you, you, there's only two reasons to go to an art school. Number one is because you want to teach art and you want that degree so you can teach art. That's one good reason. The other one would be because you, you feel like you can get a good education from an art school. You don't need art school for a job. How do I preserve my graphite art? I have a piece that was signed by Val Kilmer and I really don't want to lose it. Ooh, that's uh, a good question. I would, um, if you have the money, get it framed and put it in under a museum glass, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it could be a couple hundred dollars to do it. Well, just the museum glass was a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, but I'm saying, but if you can find a good uh, framer to do that, that'll protect it. It'll be UV protected, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, museum glass is amazing. Yeah. Otherwise, you know... Um, Especially, did they sign? Did did Valcom or sign it in a sharpie? Because that's going to fade. I would keep it out of direct light. Keep it in a drawer or something like that. And just pull it out whenever you need to. Okay. Um, can you guys see this? Okay, I know it's upside yeah. down. Okay. Well, we can see it fine. Um, he did not do the artwork for Surviving Mars. I hate filling large spaces with markers. Um, your art gives me confidence to experiment as I lock myself into a box of my art because I felt dumb by not making masterpieces and trying new things. Oh, for crying out loud. I had no experience or technique with. Um, please never ever feel bad about your art. Oh my gosh. Well, we're all just not like, for anything, but so as an artist, you're it's, always gonna feel bad about your art. I know, but I want to smack you every time you say I'm a terrible artist because. You're just so you made a piece that you weren't 100 percent happy with. I'm the worst. Oh, good grief! And now you all know why I drink tea all day long. Because otherwise, I would I would kill him. Anyway, um, in two weeks, I'm going to Sea World to spend some time with the penguins. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cool. I hope we get to see some videos and go along on your journey with you. I don't want to see the penguins. Oh, I love nuts. Um, any tips for a huge project cramped into three hours? I just got the memo. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, so you've got a huge project that you have to fit in three hours? Yes. Ooh. Break it down. Yeah, do it small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, break it down into chunks and figure out how much time that's going to take you um, to do that. Um, that should help. Can confirm about the alcohol markers. I have copic marker drawings from 2013 that have started to fade a lot. Yeah. I hate to hear it, but I, yeah, I've just yeah. seen it too many times. Yeah. Um, at what age did you actually start drawing? Probably around six so or I seven. I with a pencil in I'm just like, shh. Did you use red as the base for the skin? Um, I did it this time. I actually started with lighter tones first and then built them up. Is this your main job or do you do anything else for your livelihood? Or um, do we wish it was his main job? Yeah, I, I, um, I do animation. Uh, I mean, I haven't done animation itself in a while, but I write and direct for film. Now I'm trying to just do some quick tattoos. Yeah, Bethany says also of note the marker drawings that Scott has that are that are fading aren't even in direct sunlight, actually in a pretty dim space. That's correct. Scott has everything in um, either in notebooks or in his um, flat file. So the only things that are up on the wall are behind glass. So that's to note as well. Hey, Scott, I do digital art for a living, but what's your take on digital art? I think it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time doing it, but I think it it's... It's funny to watch I it think struggle. it is amazing. Yeah. This is my first time watching this stream. Welcome. 
Good thing about fading art is it makes room for new art. Oh gosh. Well, that's a good way to look at it, Linda. Yeah. What's the longest time Scott spent on a drawing? Um, I spent like 11 to 13 weeks on the Animal Crackers movie poster. What's Donna's favorite tea? Um, if you've ever heard of Barry's Irish tea, it is um, it's the best. I'm not a big flavored tea kind of person. I don't like flavors. I don't put creamer in it. I like black tea and I like it straight. I don't put anything in it. Um, but the Barry's Irish breakfast tea is my favorite. They have a decaf version for post 3 p.m. and then they have other, they have um, the loose tea blends that they have. Um, I don't recommend, my favorite is the master blend, but I don't recommend it unless you're like particularly strong tea. Otherwise it, will, it would be very off-putting, I think. What is your favorite painting that you have ever made? Uh, probably the movie poster for Animal Crackers. A lot went into it and a lot of learning and I don't think it's my best piece of art, but I think there's a lot of sense of achievement with that piece. What was your first job or what is your dream job? Um, my first job, gosh, I'm assuming you're talking art job. Um, I did, I did some, some book stuff for a company. Um, but I think my first big paying job was doing the cover of Replay Magazine. Uh, yeah. Can you make a flip book? A lot of people have asked you for a flip book. Yeah, I could. How do you always find something, some nice picture to draw from? There's been many, many, many of you that have asked about photo reference today. Yeah. So why don't you talk a little bit about how you pick your photo reference? I, I get, like I said, I uh, somebody mentioned Tangerine, and I don't think they were talking about the character, and and it reminded me of that. And you know, I mean, this is a character from a movie. You know, it's it's not a um, you know, I did I didn't stage it. I didn't have like this epiphany or anything like that. I was just like, oh, I like that character. Found a picture, and now I'm drawing him. It, it, it's not. It's not that, um, I don't want to say complicated, but it's not that uh, artsy, <laughs> you know? I, I'm just, I, I, it's, it's actually quite lazy because I just, I was like, oh, I'll draw this. It's really all it is. And so I just, I don't want you guys to think it's overcomplicated. It's really not. Um, how did you get to be an animator? I mean, how did you find the job that suits you? Oh, well, the whole animation thing came over time. My first job was uh, doing 16-bit video games for the Sega Genesis. Um, then, uh, God, and that was probably like 1990. And then um, that led to me doing animation for more video games, which then led to TV and film. And I never had any formal training, so I was just kind of learning on the job. And uh, so, and and I thought animation was fun, but it wasn't really my dream job. My dream job was to work on Spider-Man. And that took me 30 years till I finally got that job. Yeah, for sure. Um, somebody's pointed out, did you not finish the circle? I don't, I don't know, maybe a little bit under that armpit. No, the, the circle, Kind of doesn't, that won't hit know. there, unfortunately. Huh. Yeah. I'm, I, Cause I'm trying to, it's a little angle from where I'm looking. So yeah. Um, I am not embellishing this. This is what was written. Other than your lovely wife, cause you can't beat perfection. Who are some of your favorite people to draw and paint? <laughs> and Wasted Kitten, thank you for that. You just made my whole day. Well, Linda Carter's Wonder Woman, Severus Snape, uh, Gandalf. I'm from Germany and most of the materials you use don't exist here or cost a lot more, which is a shame because I'd like to try them out too. Oh. I know. I'm sorry. If that's the hard part about recommending things um, and trying things is they're, they're just not, it's like we have a lot of friends from India here and we can't get your supplies. Um, we're trying, um, but uh, yeah, it, it just kind of, 
kind of goes, what's your favorite drawing pencil? Um, I don't have a particular graphite pencil that I like over others. Um, just to doodle, I like the black cherry Prismacolor pencil. I dare you to draw every single Overwatch character in one single drawing. Uh. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Um, you have drawn Queen. Oh yeah. Do you have a favorite Hobbit? Uh, Bilbo. Who's your favorite character from the Breaking Bad series? Um, I didn't really like Breaking Bad. It was just too depressing, but it, it, it would probably be Saul. How long did it take you to find your style? I don't know. I'm still finding it. If I think had, it's constantly evolving. If you had one art supply and you took everything else away because people love chaos, <laughs> well, what would your art supply be? And you'd need more than one because you need, like, at least need a piece you need of paper. paper. Yeah. Um. It would just be uh, just a pencil. Um, okay, so your favorite fine liner is a? Zebra brush pen. Thank you. And where do you buy them? Uh, you can get them on Blick or you can get them on uh, uh, Jet Pens. Mm -hmm. And the, I know Jet Pens um, ships to a lot of other places. I'm not going to say worldwide anymore because there are a lot of countries I'm finding um, and I'm not singling you out India, it's just the one I have the most problem shipping to, but like India that you just can't ship to for some strange reason. Um, so, yeah, da, 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 da. let's see, we talked about the fineliner. Um, okay, so when you ask general questions like, what is your favorite pen? Could you guys be a little more specific? Like, do you wanna know, What's your favorite marker pen? What's your favorite ballpoint pen? What's your favorite, you know, give me a little more detail on that so I can have Scott answer this for you. What's the most memorable art exhibit you've ever been to? Oh. That's a great question. Um, I mean, I got to see some of the Alphonse Mucha stuff, mm -hmm. but it wasn't as much of the uh, original stuff that I would have hoped for. Um, Isn't it more prints or something like that? Yeah, because the stuff was a lot of lithographs and, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have to go to the Mooka Museum in Prague. Yeah. That's where we need to go. I mean, we got to see some of the Rockwell stuff. Actually, I think wow. the N.C. Wyeth Museum that was, great. was probably my favorite in Pennsylvania. That was great. Um, what is your favorite place you have traveled to? Right now, Venice is at the top of that list. We were just there. Yeah, we got to be there. Um, what part of drawing do you enjoy the most? Um, I think the coloring part. Um, I have tried green teas. They are not my favorite. Um, All right, I'm gonna- we see a session where Donna draws for us? <laughs> Only if you- uh, want me to um, stick figures people. for everybody yeah, exactly. I mean, um, you get a you, stick figure and you get a stick <laughs> figure <laughs> you get a post-it hat you get a post-it hat you get a post-it hat <laughs> oh, all right so i'm adding a little bit of colored pencils here now for the um for, for the lighting uh, lighting and maybe shadows perhaps no just the lighting um it's never gonna happen honey I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Um, okay. What's your favorite painting you've ever made? Uh, the Animal Crackers movie poster. Um, Scott went to Academy of Art in San Francisco. Um, do you like tree nuts? I'm allergic. Um, <laughs> Might be too, because peanuts aren't tree nuts, are they? No. Walnuts are. Walnuts are, yes. So I'm allergic to walnuts, but that's the only nut that I know that I'm allergic to. What's your recommendation on making a realistic skin tone with markers? Um, <sighs> there's more than just skin tone to skin tone. So my recommendation is to see the blues and the greens and the other colors that are in the skin. 
Um, what paper do you use for? That's the cooking tortoise. Okay, let's be let's be specific in what paper you use. So let's talk about your travel journal. Let's go there first. What is that? Travel journal. I use Be Creative. Okay, and that is what. 300 GSM uh, paper? It is, yeah, it's 100% cotton. There we go. 100% cotton, 300 GSM paper. It's a five by eight size, and it is coil bound, not hard bound. Um, let's talk about your favorite paper that you've tried so far with markers. Um, I really, I, I would say the Ohuhu marker paper is right now my current favorite. Um, and when you have done things like gouache and paintings like that, what kind of paper do you like with gouache? I like hot press watercolor paper. Okay. And do we have a specific kind of hot press water? No. Do you think gouache works better with cotton paper? I, I haven't tried it. Okay. I mean, yeah, I have. I'm sorry. I, I tried it with um, the arches paper, but mm -hmm. honestly, I don't think you need it. Okay. Um, although, I'm just going to throw this out there. I'm still stunned at the color vibrancy of the Crayolas on the Arches paper. That just killed me. Um, let's see. Um, why is the brand called Ohuhu? Because they are based in Hawaii. I don't know what Ohuhu has to do with. I, I don't know. Hawaii, I, I but. I didn't look at the, the thing. I just didn't see it, but I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Ohuhu. Oh, hoo -hoo. Do you like German expressionism? Um, I don't know if I really got into it. What is your favorite finalizer that doesn't smear when you apply watercolor? I don't put anything on my watercolors. Did you mean fine liner? I think they meant fine liner, not fine. Like, I think you're looking for what pen? What What was the lining pen? If it's fine liner, then yes. yeah, I would say um, the zebra, brush. zebra brush pen. How long did it take you to find your style? Um, I'm still finding it, and I don't know if you ever stop finding it, honestly. Okay, so we got a long question. Um, how do you feel about copying other work? Then how do you feel about AI drawing? Okay, I've done a video about copying other people's work, steal like an artist, that kind of thing. I think it's 100% valid, and it's how we learn. Uh, AI art... Um, it isn't there yet. It is literally stealing from uh, other people, other, people, other artists. Yeah. So until it can create art on its own, I, I, I don't think it's ready yet. Okay. And the last part of this question is how can you be less critical with your art? I think you have to learn to just accept where you are in your journey. You have to kind of look at stuff big picture and realize that you are um, a growing artist just like you'd be a growing human being and so i think that's that's the the, the thing you got to learn to to do you got to learn to be kind to yourself what is a piece of advice that has gotten you through tough times um i don't know if i have something that was uh from anybody that's gotten us through the tough times um at least not art wise I've got a good one that I heard that not hasn't gotten me through tough times, but has had me allowed me to reflect on them. Okay. Um, and it's just, it's um, somebody said, you've already made it through a hundred percent of the tough stuff you've been through in your life. You're still standing and you're still here. Yeah. So my problem with that is you didn't come out of it unscathed, you I know, and that's, you, I don't think you're going to come out of this life unscathed. No. And, but I and, think the point is to stand tall with all of the scars yeah. that you've gone through and go, hey, guess what? I got this one. I'm still standing. Now. Yeah, I got this one over here and that one over there. And look at me. I'm yeah. still vertical. Yeah. I'm still kicking and I'm still going. And um, some 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 traumas are just hard to get past. And yeah, they are. I, and you'll drag those around with you. Yeah. But the point is you're still moving forward and to not let them hold you back from doing something else. Are they going to always weigh on your mind a little bit? Probably. But to not have things hold you back like that, I think that's to just be afraid and do it anyway. You know? Yeah. I mean, God, you and I are like, between the two of us, we have 107 years of 
of stuff, <laughs> right? Think about it. Seriously, right? 53, 54. That's 107 years of stuff. And it's like, and we're still standing, you know? Yeah. I mean, is it easy some days? No. But you just got to keep going. You know, those are the days when you like, I don't know, do something for yourself. Read a book that makes you happy. Read, you know, have a cookie. I don't know. My favorite thing in life is to just be like, you know what? I'm sure <laughs> I thought you were going to say me. my favorite thing in life is just eating a cookie. Well, I'm saying, <laughs> like, when, the, when our boys were little and they were in elementary school. And I'd home, like to eat a cookie, but home, no one will make oh, me one. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll tell them the cookie story next. The, my whole point was come sit down, have a cookie and we'll do homework. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. Do something for yourself that makes you happy. I anyway. would love a cookie. You're if, never only, gonna get a cookie. if only someone loved me enough. You're never going to get a cookie. Just forget it. I'm never baking you another cookie. Nobody Honestly. loves me. What's your favorite sketchbook for watercolors? The uh, Be Creative uh, sketchbook. Um, you're such a pain. Can you smack me after you give me a cookie? No, I'm gonna smack you and never make cookies again. <laughs> Which markers are better for beginners, Copic or Ohuhu? Oh my God, uh, Ohuhu, a hundred percent. Copics are okay. The the markers are all the same, so you know, okay. buy the cheaper ones. Santa's still in Santa sends 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 us a tip, and he says, "Eating cookies." <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, I used to do that when the boys were little. I used to say, I know you've had a hard day. Come in the kitchen and let's have a cookie while you do your homework. And I'd give them cookies before they had dinner. <gasps> and they were like, are you serious? And I'd be like, yes, you have to do math homework. And for one of our boys, that was harder than the other. And I was like, come on, we're going to have a cookie. And then the one it wasn't hard for was, can I have a cookie too? I'm like, yes, everybody gets a cookie. So mom would have a glass of wine and the boys would have cookies and I would cook dinner and they would sit and do their math homework. And it was great. I mean, you know, just, sometimes you just got to give yourself a little bit in life, you know? Um, what pencil and sketchbook is your recommendation? Pencil and sketchbook. Um, if you're just doing pencil and paper and sketchbook, I just would say anything. Um, there are nice brands. What was it like that Stillman in? something um but honestly you just you know the thing is 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 what i found i mean i've gone through dozens and dozens of sketchbooks over the years yeah. is is fill up the sketchbooks mm -hmm. and then but don't throw them away please. yeah don't throw them away and then see then see uh if you're like, I really like this, or I really don't like that about it. And then you ask questions and you're like, my paper keeps smudging. What can I do? Or I don't really like this, or I want to start adding color. And, and, and that's how your style grows. That's how mine did. I started just paper and pencil. Then I started colored pencil. Then I did markers on top of the colored pencils and it just grows. And then I got into watercolors. Um, that's, that's all. But Start somewhere. Start with paper and pencil. That's all you need. Um, okay, blue. As far as figure drawing goes and you're struggling with some stuff, check out the Art Hacks playlist. There's a lot of stuff in the Art Hacks playlist that'll help you, like um, noses and ears and eyes and hair and basic body shapes. So check that out. Um, how essential is it to have an art or sketch portfolio to get a job as a comic artist? Oh, 100% yeah, essential. You have to. What do you think of Lion Decker? I personally really love his work. Oh, he's one of my favorites. Absolutely. Favorite sketchbook for watercolors. I like to be creative. Is your art echo friendly? Um, I, I really don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with, unless you're using stone paper and you're using pencils that don't have wood and you're using watercolors that don't have any binder or materials in there, the answer to that is no. You can get very close with some supplies, but you have to really research. Not all, I mean, plastic pencils for your brushes, or you really have to do a lot of research on it. You have to. I think the stone paper is a great place to start with that, but as you all saw, it only holds certain mediums. Um, 
Can you show us your favorite pen if you have it with you right now? Here you go. Zebra brush pen. Um, what was the worst art you've done and what's the best art you've done? Ha! We don't own any of the worst art yeah. he's ever done. If it's he's bad, I throw it out. Oh, yeah. He does. We will never speak of it again. Hi from Somerset, England. Hello. Cheerio. I hope it's tea time for you because that sounds fun. What type of regular sketchbooks do you recommend not for watercolor? I, look at this thing. Catitude is everything. I got it for $3.50. <laughs> That's all you need. Seriously. Um, I bought those zebra pens on your recommendation and they're lovely. Yeah. <coughs> okay, hold on. Blow dryer. All right, let's see if I can make this white a little wider now. Yes, that's perfect. We will be there. Thank you. You do the same. Bye-bye. Is that Vanderbilt? No, that was the Pagayas. Oh, okay. Vanderbilt's like called me like three times Vanderbilt during this life. calls a million times to confirm Dr. Thomas. What were you just using to give the white highlight? It's the Artex paint marker, but it didn't really get it white enough. So I'm going to try now. The Crayola. The blow dryer warning was very appreciated. Oh, my uh, pleasure. Um, how, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, how do you stay motivated to create even when your art is not going well? Um, just know that it's a journey. It, you know, if you think of it like, um, hey, I'm going to drive to the Grand Canyon, right? And you're driving through just ugly, boring parts of town and you're like, I want to be at the Grand Canyon. Well, you still have to get past all of the bad stuff first so you can get to the good stuff. That's really it. You're just, you got to get through the bad art to get to the good stuff. What are your tips for using alcohol-based markers? I just got some for Christmas. Um, Get get a good you know get a good sketchbook like like this one. This one's you know really good, and um, just play around. Have fun. You don't need three hundred and twenty colors though. Don't go and invest a whole bunch of it until you've you know. I I would say there's an 80, 80 pack of um, the Art Beak ones mm -hmm. you can get for twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a really good deal. Um, I would say do something like that, but just play around. You'll, you, you gotta, you gotta play around. You gotta kind of get to learn to get the feel of it. Um, future dream projects. Future dream projects. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I, 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 I know it's kind of playing into the whole dream thing, but uh, I have a comic series I did called the Dreamland Chronicles. Mm -hmm. I'd love to do that as a as an animated series. Um, I think I'd like to do a movie poster. Or, I'm sorry, a, an album cover for like one of my favorite bands one day. I think would be kind of fun. But um, okay, which band would it be though? I don't know. Like I said, I, I, that's why I kind of left it open. You know. Um, okay. Ellen says, can confirm West Texas is boring. Uh, uh, okay, so listen, we have now officially driven across this country, and I will tell you, the biggest surprise to me, biggest surprise, I never had an a, a, a inkling to go to Utah at all. The biggest surprise to me was how absolutely stunningly beautiful the rock formations were in Utah. Yeah, Utah was pretty cool. I have never seen anything like it, and it was just stunning. So while I agree that, that there are places that are boring, I do think, and I think for me, that sort of flipped a switch, and I was like, every place has beauty. And I think it's our job as humans on this planet to appreciate it. So there you go. 
Um, Craft Door asks, if you're reading this, reply and say which kind of colors you recommend. Colors for what? Colors for watercolor, colors for markers, which colors do you want him to use for skin tones, colors for hair? Can you give me a little more? Um, oh, Emma noted you also you often use a Uniball Signo pen too for your white outlines. But yeah. We did not do that today. Um, I've been drawing with my friends for some time now. What tips can you give me for sketching as a beginner? Oh, draw what you see. Don't try to draw from your imagination. Not that drawing from your imagination is bad, but I'm saying to learn, draw, draw what you see. Do you have a favorite art book that really inspired you? How to draw comics the Marvel way. <laughs> I would love to see Tangerine and Watercolor. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, they're bringing the chaos today. Um, do you know what the difference is between gel pens and ballpoints? Okay, so gel ink and ballpoint ink are two completely different things. Gel ink is more of a rollerball kind of ink and kind of flows out of the pen a little bit easier. Everybody knows ballpoint ink. It's just a basic standard, like your standard Bic pen or whatever pen that you buy. But gel ink is wet when it comes out of the pen. Um, so that's that's the difference between, not that I should be the one telling about ink, but I know pens, so there you go. Um, what is your oldest piece of art? Oh, I have, um, here, I'll show you. And Jarvis, we've answered that question already. If you don't have a portfolio to get a job as a comic artist, forget it. You need a portfolio. Oh my God. This paper's like a thousand years old, you guys. Look at the little. That's Aww, my oldest look drawing. how cute you are. <laughs> Little Scott, little Scott, blue Spider-Man. Really cute. I love that you have that. I think it's so cute. <laughs> Super cute. All right. What book do you use for anatomy practice? Um, I used to use uh, Muscle and Fitness magazines. Have you read How to Draw by Scott Robertson? I have not. Mm. Um, have you heard of Bob Ross? And yes. what do you think of him? Oh, and when was that drawing made? Um, maybe 1974. Emma says, I so want to laminate that to save it. <laughs> Were your art teachers helpful or why not? Um, yeah, yeah. I had, I had uh, a really good art teacher in high school. She gave me my first sketchbook and encouraged me to draw every day. And that really helped. Oh, hi, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Jamie. Right here. She's got to get ready for work. Have a lovely Friday, my friends. Have a great Bye. day. Don't work too hard. Um, let's see. What's your favorite art supply? Um, I like the watercolors and the uh, my pen. Do they read YouTube comments? Um, hi, I'm reading YouTube comments right here. What Did you say what book you liked for anatomy practice? Uh, yeah, they were asking what books, and I said, uh, like, um, muscle, muscle magazines and stuff. And how to draw comics the Marvel is. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, we did that one. Um, I live in nowhere, Texas. I have a while, but I really want to know what a good arts, I really want to know. Um, about a good art school or college. You just have to Google for what you want to do. It depends on what you want to do. Yeah. There's different schools that specialize in different things. Um, so you have to look at the schools and Google them. Um, if you're in high school, you can go to your um, school counselor and they can help you find art schools. Um, I'm sure there's got to be some art schools in Texas um, that would help you um, find, you know, those. They'll help you find those. Um, okay. At what age did you decide you pursue art as a career and did your parents support you? Um, it was in high school. Cause you know, it was like that around that time where they're like, okay, what do you want to do? And I was like, I don't know. And so that's where art kind of came up. Um, and yeah, my parents were really great about supporting us. Um, 
Okay. Um, another person's asking about shading. Let's see. Scott went to Academy of Art in San Francisco. That's where he went. And he was an illustration major. How would you rate yourself as a good artist out of 10? Five. Getting the 48 Ohuhu set. Any tips? Um, get the brush markers. I, I like, I think brush markers are great. I, I had never used the little fine ones. The brush markers give you that fine point and all of the flexibility of line and everything like that. And then you could use the chisel and to kind of get the, the, the bigger lines if you need to. How did he upload a video before he went live? To okay. So he started this yesterday, but only did the face and the head. Yeah, I got I got about, you know, this much done. And I was like, all right, we got to have a talk about this. Uh, he got frustrated with the moments. Yeah. So the question is, did any of this. Saving art is so important. It makes me so upset when people get rid of their old art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Do you still recommend the Windsor & Newton watercolor and gouache, or did you find new favorites? That's a good question. Um, yeah, I still recommend them. And those are your favorites? Yeah. Did you finish arranging the markers? Um, more or less. Yeah. I can I can yes. only give a general account for them. Yes, but actually no. They sort of squish around. Um, it's my first stream here, but I've been subscribed for a while. Massive fan. Oh, hello. Do you think you'll do other... Something this character and sell prints. No, we can't sell prints no. because that's copyright. So um, we can sell original art. The spent is original art of characters of movies and things like that. We can sell the original art. You guys see the back of it? So, um, yes. But because you have that plastic sheet, show the plastic sheet that's in between too so people can see that. As I think that's really cool. Every yeah. one of these Ohuhu sketchbooks has come with that. So it doesn't really matter. nice. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty neat. Really smart. Yeah. And you don't feel it at all because the paper's really thick. Yeah. Really good quality. Um, <laughs> Scott, I don't want to talk about shading. Donna and everyone watching the stream, poke, poke. Come on, please. <laughs> Do you have tips for a beginner concept artist? Oh, gosh. Um, get good at drawing everything. Just draw, just go around sketching everything you see. Um, okay, so what's your favorite drawing from the hair journal? Either the lesbians or the trans. Um, I'm currently painting with watercolors and I think I overworked the paper. Any tips on how to fix that? Um, gouache if you have something that you need to fix on that particular piece, or if you're just saying how to fix you know, overworking your paper in general. If it's fix overworking your paper in general, then just get good paper. You, I've never overworked good paper. How do I find the right contrast? Um, squint your eyes. Um, you're gonna have to, if, listen, if any of you are looking at colleges right now, and then there's a bunch of you that have asked questions today, please do the research yourself. We have not been in school in 35 years. And that really drives me crazy saying that because now I feel old. But now colleges, you feel old. Colleges change. Things change. And going through the college admission process with our boys a couple of years ago, it was 100% different than how it was when we went to school. We had to actually physically type or write out our applications. Nothing was online. You guys have a wealth of information at your fingertips on Google, with your schools, with your career centers. Please use those resources um, because people will be able to give you the help that you need that way. And I wish we could give you all of that, but I, we're, we're just, we're not. We don't have that information anymore, the most current information. Yeah. Do you recommend the Ohuhu markers for someone new to brush pens? I do. I, I, I think for me, it is a matter of price. So, um, I, because let's be honest, he's cheap. I'm cheap. Unless he's buying $12 rolls of tape. So, this is the Art Beaks 120 
set of brush markers. And it was uh, this about $56. So I would say, I don't know if Ohuhu has a 120 set of markers, they have a different, they have brush markers. Different I'd like to see yes. what the price is. If all things are equal, go with Ohuhu. They make a wonderful project, a wonderful uh, product. That said, if you have... Um, they do have a 120 color marker set. It is $99. Okay, so it's twice as much. But, they'll, but we have a 10% off code. Yeah. So, so again, if you're just starting off, get this or get the 80 set uh, by Artbeak. And uh, you should see a link in our on, on our uh, products we've tested. That That's what I would say if you're going to do that. Oh, who makes a better product? I can't tell the difference between markers and uh, between Copics, Artbeak, or uh, or Ohuhu. I can't. It's just markers to me. Um, okay, hold on. If you want, there is a 200 color set right now on Amazon, and it is $94.99. For what? Ohuhu. Ohuhu, okay. A 200 marker set. Now, I don't know why you need 200 markers, yeah. but I'm just throwing that out. I think 120 is a good number. Uh, so what I'm saying is now, for paper, I've tried a whole bunch of the marker papers, yeah. and I think oh, who who makes the best paper? Yeah. Um, and 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 I would not get this large one. It is way too large. It's way too big. My yeah. my favorite is this. I mean, this hardbound. What, what size is that one, honey? This one? No, the one you're holding in your hand. Smaller than this one. Is it an eight by ten? I, I don't know. It doesn't say. I think that's an eight by ten. Looks like nine by twelve, you know. <laughs> but but the point is, is that um, I I really like it. I like the paper, um, everything about it. I I there there's this mixed media one. I don't really like the mixed media as much, but it, I like the size a little better. I like smaller sizes, but I mean it, it is uh, ten by eight. It's an eight by ten, and it's sixteen ninety nine. But yeah, that's what I would recommend. Is definitely get the Ohuhu. Uh, sketchbooks. Those are really good. And that one that you had in your hand originally was a mixed media pad. The second one is a mixed media pad. The, the big two, one is... Not the, not that big one, that one. The big one is, yes. is marker. The littler one is mixed media. No, that one said mixed media. It's not. To the, okay, well, according to what came in the box. Um, okay, so, I'm done. Hold on. What is the thing you're putting behind the paper to prevent it from bleeding to the other page? It comes with every Ohuhu sketchbook. Mm -hmm. And that's the cool thing. It's it is just a, liner. a it's, it's a plastic liner. Yeah. Really, really nice. And the paper is really thick, so you don't even notice it. But uh, all right, I am going to Can go you link the products you're recommending in the description. Yes, I did for the very first one. Yeah. And it, there is on our website too. Mm -hmm. And there's a 10% discount code that they gave us as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, uh, maybe one of the mods can put a link with the code uh, in Bethany, the description when the video is done. Yeah, I think Bethany has all the codes. If she wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind putting it in there. <clears throat> what would you recommend for people who are trying to up their anatomy game? Um. Figure drawing classes, if you can get them. That really helped me. Okay. Quick, There's quick gesture drawings, you know, like one minute, five minute, 10 minute drawings. Figure drawing classes were the best. Um, there is a lot of, if you guys go to the Art Hacks playlist, a lot of you are asking for tips on drawing, tips on anatomy, tips on, please try the Art Hacks playlist first. And then if you have very specific questions, we can answer those. But um, it's a lot easier to answer your questions if they're specific. Um, do you cook and what's your favorite meal of the day and favorite dish? Okay. So we got a bread maker for Christmas and Scott's been making bread nonstop <laughs> and it's freaking amazing. I could just live on bread. Yeah. It's amazing. We, we eat salad and bread for dinner. That's it. It's amazing. <laughs> anyway. So that's that's our right. that's our latest oh, thing. Oh, oh, um, we will not be here Monday because I there was oh, a, we had a doctor's right. appointment and they could only do Monday morning. Yep. Um, and, uh, but we will but, be here on a Tuesday. Yes. I'm going to be doing a dual live with my friend, Kim Diaz home. Correct. So we'll be doing, uh, ink monsters, which is really fun. Yeah. So, so we will no live on Monday, but we're going live on Tuesday next week. Yes. 
So sorry about the last minute, but that's just what you get sometimes. Do you have any low budget art supplies? I got your watercolor set that you collabed with Gravity. It worked so well, but generally I don't have the budget for that. Yeah, there's a bunch of low budget stuff that I've tried out. If you go to our website and you go to the product products under resources, tried. go to products we've tried, mm -hmm. you'll see a bunch of, uh, including the videos, Yep. Uh, you'll see them so you can see what I thought of them. But yeah, I like trying the the, the cheaper stuff. Oh, who, who I, I consider oh, who mid range. Um, whereas like Art Beak is cheaper and then Crayola is cheapest. Mm -hmm. Now you're always going to find, you know, different things. And depending on what country you're in, you may get different prices in different countries. So, you know, don't, you know, you're, you're going to have to, <clears throat> research it yourself. And I, I hate to say that, and I'm not trying to be flippant or brush any of you off, but we, there's just no way for us to know what the prices would be in every individual country. It's like, sometimes I order things and I don't realize that it's out of the country here. Like if I order something from overseas or from London or whatever, and all of a sudden the shipping is like $40 and I'm like, Whoa, where's this coming from? You know? So you just have to really look. Um, have you drawn the Wednesday Adams cast? I've only drawn Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And we haven't finished that. What was your favorite art of learning 60 days of studying the masters? Ooh. Um, you know what? I kept my favorites. Except wander over a sea of It wasn't my favorite. No, it was mine. Do you remember what you had to do in your illustration finals? Uh, I don't think we have finals. You have projects, like a big project. Yeah, but okay, so um, <laughs> this one I really liked. Can you guys see it okay? That's a coin. Yeah. Yeah. It was the illustration for a coin here. Yeah. If I put it up here, is that better? Yes, it's better. Okay, so I like that one. The Gibson girls. You've always loved them. That's just because yeah. you like the hair. Um, By the way, Mr. Monster sent you a tip and says hi. Oh, thank you. Was this Renoir? I don't remember. Um, you need to write on the back. This one I saved for you, but I don't think you liked it. So not as much as one. And then the on. John Singer Sergeant. <clears throat> oh, you love that one. Do you have any tips for when paper corners curl up after using colored pencils? Um, you could either tape it down or if you, if you want, just get like binder clips and just clip down the sides when you're doing it. Um, I only know how to draw with pencil because I'm very bad at painting color. Is there any way to improve? They're only, they're, they only draw with pencil because they're very bad at painting color. Is there any way to improve? You practice. Yeah, you're just, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's, um, you're going to get better at anything you practice at. And, uh, there, there's no, there's no, uh, do these two things and everything's going to work out. No, you just grab a paintbrush, grab some paint and, uh, and some paper and you just start doing it. That lame cat um, is thanking you for being an inspiration to them and many others. Oh, thank you very much. Are Okuhu's cheaper than Coppets or more expensive? Very much cheaper. They're probably half the price of uh, of Copics. Mm -hmm. And then Artbeak is half the price of Ohuhu. And like I said, for me, I don't know the difference. I, I, I've, I've worked in both and, yep. you know, they're fine. I, I, I would say of all of the paper that I've used for markers, Ohuhu makes the best. Um, and then... Um, if Ohuhu lowers their prices, they'll be my favorite. But I mean, they, they put really good quality into their stuff. So I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Except about the market organization. Yes. Um, we're done. We're done. Okay. We're done. So um, thanks for being here. Remember, no live on Monday. We'll and see you on Tuesday, we'll you Wednesday, on Tuesday. and Friday. Yep. No live Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Friday, next week. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. We appreciate you.